those mess with the focus just a little bit. Like when it's just the words, we've got good focus. We are using my new webcam today. And I'm just going to be doing a quick kind of manicure and kind of just test how this thing performs. I mean, so far so good. Need to... Uh, adjust the mat just a little bit here oh goodness that's rather loud i may end up having to close my window it's so nice here today i hope i don't have to um hello everyone by the way um i'm gonna go ahead and get a tweet out and a discord and then we're gonna get going my nails are already naked as you can see i had a just like a clear on them base and top for like the past couple days and of course if you are in the future watching on youtube um you can watch live at twitch.tv slash colette mslp um I, I don't know which one of these i'm going to be doing okay there is the tweet and let's get a disc man i swear that the traffic was not this much before i started streaming or maybe the microphone is doing its job and you guys actually don't get to hear all that which would be lovely and maybe somebody will come soon and tell me whether or not it's super loud <laughs> um Oh, I see, I see people. Hello, people. Hold on. Okay, there's Discord. Um, Sun, Luke, Crotron. How are you guys? How is this? How, how is this looking for you guys? And, and did you just hear that car go by? Please, somebody tell me. Hi, Anthony. Hey, Trey Lala. Um, wait a minute. My windows, my windows are not where they should be. This, this can, well, actually, okay, let's do like that. And then let's do like this. And this, this can go down here. And where is, okay, hold on. Okay. Are y'all, are y'all, all y'all, are y'all, are y'all ready for this? Is that good? I have... Oh, I, th I thought you were going to say she was not helpful, like she was not helping, but I'm not surprised at all that she's like on board because like if you had a gaming laptop, then like if she traveled, I don't know if she travels, but if she did, you would probably let her take it with her and then she could game when she traveled. It could be the family gaming laptop for traveling. <laughs> so um the, the focus is a little like you gotta massage it but i mean that's pretty much even my big camera you, where did i where did i put them you guys i've been saving these out are they over here okay i'm gonna show you guys this because these decals i held out instead of like putting them in the polished sketchbook or just tossing them because this color combination was very, very difficult for the previous webcam to capture. And you guys, I think, all remember what it looked like on my good tutorial camera. You can type, type exclamation camera if you don't. But check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I think we have a winner. It's good. This is the Brio. This is the Brio and it's doing everything that I want it to do. And I'm really happy about that. You, you want, you want to see a little closer on this? You want to see, you want to see, well, okay. Maybe not quite that close, but like, okay. Like 
for once i'm i mean maybe maybe something will pop up and be like oh no there, actually there is one thing already but it's it's super minor and i'm sure i can work around it for this i can work around it because like the focus okay focus is on point zoom is on point mostly focus is on point come on come on like i said you, you gotta massage it a little bit but um what what am i missing here the one with the recycle logo <laughs> yeah yeah it is this one that is the best one look at that it's doing everything that i wanted to do you guys um hi amethyst yeah so this this what is it called hdi something digital resolution whatever it is it's making the colors real juicy everything is good and this was not a cheap webcam but it was cheaper than most cameras that could do this and you know like easier to use in this fashion the the one downside that i said i already did have so it's got a detachable cord so the cord just like chunks in right in the middle in the back and it's got like a thick thing and it like it's poking my tutorial camera because of course we still have to record things for youtube and uh so they're kind of like jockeying for position but you guys isn't this so pretty isn't this just lovely i'm i'm i think i'm gonna go ahead and say i'm thrilled so i i thought if i didn't like it it would just be going right back in this little box back to amazon but so far i really like it i need to i need to tweak my setup a little bit i i bought a new little thing to like mount it with and i didn't like it so i'm using one of my older things to mount it and i never liked that thing in the first place um and because of the way that it's clashing with the other camera right now like i can't adjust it like this way so i can't like i need to like make sure to stay up here where you guys can see me and that may become a problem when I'm recording, but I'm actually not recording right now. I did have this camera out just so that I could look like what I've been doing is like having it up and bringing something out and then like comparing the two. And so far it is keeping pace with the tutorial camera, you know, even things like, uh, where are we here? Like the multi-chrome, like if you get up here. You get a little bit more pink, pinkiness. And then you get down here and you get like into that deep blueiness. Um, a couple things are not like super great, but you know, it's okay. It's workable. We, we can move to manual focus if it has trouble focusing on things. And I mean, certain things are just like so shiny that it can be hard to focus. Oh, but it's doing it now. It was giving me issues with this earlier. And you guys know what this looked like on the tutorial camera. I'm sure most of you guys remember this. Yes, Dr. Crotron. Mm. We're, we'll see. I haven't looked at them yet. I wanted to get them out. Put Bean under the camera for calibration. Um, let's see here. Is this... Let's look at... Okay, is this... I think this is the yellow, which is not like the brightest one. And yeah, the, the like limon and the green. Oh, the limon still has beanie hair in it. Yeah. I would say the tutorial camera wins out a little bit on this one in particular. Because on, on stream, it's looking like a little bit yellower than it is. This is the green. Yellow, limon, green. But it is picking up the brightness pretty well. Yeah, hollow can be difficult. I was see the I, I see the focus trying, but uh, yeah. I mean there there's 
there are some differences, but like I'm very satisfied with this as a as a streaming utensil, so to speak. Because like, e even if this camera had worked perfectly for like hooking up through a capture card, it's still like a lot, um, like more of a hassle than just plugging in a webcam. So, so far, like I said, I haven't discovered anything bean paw print stamp i do have like uh what, what is it it's the stuff that you can carve to make stamps i bought like a block of that at one point and like carving tools thinking oh sure one day i'll carve things guess how many things got carved oh you just got it in the mail today so you you know firsthand this juiciness I mean, it's just so good. I need, I need to adjust these cameras so that they're more in line with each other. Polished soul. We have a Twitch baby. Twitch babies are so special. I don't know why, because it's just such a good meme, I guess. Thank you so much, Polished Soul, for nine months. Oh my goodness. Chad is going fast. I feel like I'm missing chat. Did I say hi to you, Sapphire? Hello. And I don't think I saw Alexi either. I'm so excited over this camera. I'm just so happy. Let's see if I can adjust it just to, oh my God, Dr. Crotron. 11 months. Can I just like slightly there? How is Luke so far ahead of you? Or are you getting one of those weird out of cycle announcements because because of your prime, like sunburned? Because sunburned, it was it was literally like not even more than two weeks ago, son, that you had your nine month and then you just had your 10 month. And I know because I was editing one of the YouTube videos and I saw the thing in there. This is still like on stream you're seeing the the bottom of the bottle and then on my tutorial camera you're seeing like the top half of the bottle i can't quite how can i adjust these so that you guys are a little bit more or do i need to actually what was that did you guys hear that it sounded like somebody dropped a box of pennies Between when you have to resub and the actual anniversary, that's so weird. Why you could not use Clark on Discord. That, yes, that does explain it. This is interesting. Right now, the tutorial camera is not in focus, but the, the webcam is. Yeah, up here is like just a little bit too... Can I possibly... Can I... Hmm... Okay, what if I I need I need to put this here for reference again. I apologize for all the messing around, but like I said, there's there is one thing that I'm not super super happy with. So if I set this like this and then I adjust this camera a little bit more like that. And then retighten this. And then and then you guys Hold on, you're going for a ride. Like maybe an inch or two. I'm moving the whole arm because I can't adjust the camera. Hey, that's pretty good, yeah? We still, whoa. Are we still mostly, hold on. Okay. There. I think that's really good. Is that good for the tutorial camera too? Yeah. Oh, like I said, not that I actually need it right now. Oops. Wrong button. Still pushing the wrong buttons on this camera. This thing too. I wonder if that thing's adjustable. I'll need to look at that later. That's so weird. Hey, Athelus. 
Mm. Almost the end of the tea, but I do have water. Okay, so it's between, I think, these three to go on my nails. And like, oh boy, come on now, camera. I was just talking you up one at a time. Do you like that better? So this one is like the blurple to like fuchsia. Oh yeah, there's a good flash of the fuchsia. Out of focus or not, but. So we've got that. We've got this blue, which is also got like some purpley, some purpley things going on. You're the one that the, that the camera really doesn't like. It just is having a hell of a time focusing there. Come on. It, it can't handle the multi-chrome. <laughs> Come on there. Oh, well. That one. And this one, which goes from, like, gold into, like, a greenish teal kind of color. Has quite a bit of trouble focusing on that one, too. That's interesting, but this one... Well, it was earlier. Come on. Hmm. See, it's because Dr. Crotron won't let me massage it. But we're, uh, yes, yeah, so this is cash only. This is Will Neville Be Royals. And this is uh, Rhythm and Blues. There, now you're in focus. I, 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 usually feel like text helps it focus but sometimes maybe sometimes not not quite that's really good though and you can even see like a little bit of the hollow like the shine on the caps like their caps are really like hollow <clears throat> i'm leaning toward this one. Ooh, anthony likes the blue I really like this one too. I need I need to pick a color for a pedicure too, y'all. I committed a cardinal sin today and went out with sandals and my toes are not painted. My dress was really long though, or my skirt. So hopefully like nobody noticed. <laughs> oh, more with the purple. Moon, middle or riot, moon bandit. I mean, hey, when did you go out of focus camera? Come on. Come on, let me, let me massage you a little bit. Ooh. <laughs> let me stop before Dr. Crotron bans me. I was originally thinking the purple. I also wonder if sometimes a little bit, it's because it's at a slight angle. Like it would do better if it was straight, like straight on the camera. Come on, come on here. Focus. Like if I had another one, let's just... See, it focuses on the bonder just easily. Or, uh, you know, the Vive. It's something. Like, I don't know. This color is this color magical? <laughs> hey, Wesker. I mean, Moon Bandit, you got you to gotta hit clearance and you got to hit sales. And then sometimes you just got to accept the fact that nail polish is sometimes expensive. Like the the oil slicks were, were these 12 a bottle? Except I got half of them on half off. Because they're like multi-chrome and they're so good that the camera can't even focus on them half the time. This is what we're putting on our nails. We'll never be royals. Look at that, you guys. Camera. And for those just joining us, we are high, we are highly praising my new camera because it's being a very good boy. It's it's doing all the things that I want it to do. And oh, I do have just like two Q-tips left. I don't have to get up. Yay. Yay. Oh, I have three left. That's like a bonus. Mm. Yeah, like, especially, like, Sally's. Sometimes it's hard, though. Like, sometimes 
what's left by the time it gets to Clarence is not the cute shit, which is obviously a problem. But uh, another thing too is there's like, you know, resellers that sometimes sell stuff for really cheap. Even sometimes like some certain dollar stores, like around me, Dollar Tree in particular, they will get legit nail polish brands and then they'll just be a dollar because they're at the Dollar Tree. So you got to keep an eye out for stuff like that. And what was that? What fell? Oh my God. My room is a disaster area, especially now that I just got a package from Amazon. Because like, of course, I was like, oh my God, I was going to stream. But now the new camera's here. So let's like open this up right away and see how, see how it goes. Um... And then there's like undue amount of packaging left over. And like the other stuff that I ordered too. I ordered I ordered an off brand, but I ordered uh, a set of vinyl tools to use with the with the nail vinyls. So the next time we have to fuck around with like droplets or something inside the decals, let me show you guys. Who was it? Somebody come take credit for suggesting me the cry cut picker i went with a different brand because it was cheaper and i hope i don't regret it it looks pretty damn sharp comes with a little protective thingy on it but like it's pretty dang sharp it's not like as sharp and deadly as it could be i mean it's not like a oh we should we could have used the tip of the exacto knife you guys that seems like kind of overly dangerous though. That's like a fucking full on blade to be messing around with vinyls with. But yeah. So this thing, like you get in there and you just bloop, bloop, bloop. You like pluck them out of there. I mean, is the theory. Don't do that, Moon. Well, I mean, some of the, I almost put this just in there with it. It's also got like a little spatula for, I wonder, you know, that might actually help. Like something like this. Can I get this off of here? It's like wrapped in fucking saran wrap. Like as far as like surfaces that I can uh, adhere the tape to when I'm using it. Like would this help me get this off of here? Oh, it's already coming off of here. Why wouldn't it come up when I wanted it to come up? This, by the way, if anybody missed it, is what was on my nails before they were naked that old camera almost can't handle it try try harder camera i mean it's it's catching all the rainbows which is of course the important part <laughs> there we go oh look at that oh look at that yeah oh yeah okay sorry got got distracted anyway so we got a little spatula and uh a little angled pair of tweezers which are also quite pointy which i think should be handy and a little pair of scissors and another kind of little thingy. <laughs> it was starting at so moon. I did my very best to get it like nice and smooth and flat. Um, yeah, I'm only gonna have this on a couple days, so I might as well use peel off. The couple times lately that I've had like a full-on manicure with a real base coat i felt so spoiled like it feels different on your nails than like a peel off manicure it just feels so i don't know like sturdy but we'll be switching this on saturday so i'm gonna just go ahead and use ready for takeoff where where's my there we go cricket is it luke Luke, you could very well know more about these things than me. I don't know. Cry cut sounded more like cutting things out of vinyl. Cricket. Really? Are you trolling me or are you for sure? <laughs> Does anybody know? <laughs> Wesker. Dr. Crotron. Cool. <laughs> it's a, it's a Brio. It's a Brio webcam. And, uh, 
like so far I'm pretty impressed because I mean I've had cameras that are not this okay can you guys hear that traffic and if so how how loud is it do I need to close my window um I, I've had cameras that aren't this color accurate I've had several cameras that aren't this color accurate and and I mean all the other webcams are not this color accurate so it's got like the HDR something digital colory something thingy I'm super technical as you can tell um and it does 4k if you're interested in that sort of thing which I'm I mean I'm not streaming at that so like no um On HSN. You know, I was more of a QVC type of a girl. Cricket. Okay. Cricket. Everybody. Oh, it's Cribbut. Butt Spot is correcting all of y'all. Oh, you guys. You guys literally cannot hear this loud ass traffic. <laughs> Dr. Crotron. No, that is. Okay. So if you're wondering, like, and anybody that has a Yeti out there, if you have not turned on the thingy that's called, uh, cardioid cardioid the thing that looks kind of like a butt that is why y'all apparently cannot hear any of this traffic that's i i find that impressive i find that as impressive as this color accurate webcam honestly like that's what i want technology to do you know what i mean mm. Yeah, I'm, I don't think I'm going to do a design today, Sapphire. I'm just going to do like a plain manicure and then I'm going to get a polish and motion on this. Or did you mean a design for Saturday? I have several things in mind and I don't know. I don't know. They all require like testing and stuff. I kind of the idea the idea has been in my head again like for a while I've wanted to do like a hand dotted scaled manicure like yeah there's there's like scales vinyls and whatever but like I kind of would like to do a hand dotted one which like sounds kind of like a lot of work even to me so I'm like mm, I don't know about that I just don't know about that 4k being well so the plan is like since this is working out and this does seem to be like honestly this is a weight off my shoulders because i'm also now kind of stressing about the whole headphone situation although i did get luke thank you for the recommendation some loctite when i was at target today but i also like tried on some of their headphones and measured like the ear cups to confirm that my ears are in fact fucking as long as large as i think they are and yeah, like a lot of these headphones have like 3.5 by 5 or 6 uh, centimeter like interior ear cups. And my ears are like 7 centimeters. So like even the ones that are like 7, I'm like, do I want it like that close? And there's only a couple that I can even find that have, you know, recommendations or listings and measurements as being like over 7. <sighs> I have large ears. Plus, I mean, yeah, the tunnels too, so. Oh, but I was saying, since the since the Brio is working out, I mean it's it's good, right you guys? I'm not like tripping. This this is this is streaming the same way it looks on my monitor, right? Um the plan is to I, ke I kept the 922, even though the 922 was like not my favorite thing ever. I mean, I still have that. Um, I'm going to switch that probably to the face cam purely because, well, if I, if I can get it to do, to do what I want so that I can have a uh, matching 60 FPS face cam since I am like streaming in 60 FPS, but the current face cam is only 30 FPS. Um, and then we either leave the bean cam as it is, or we give beanie one of the, uh, oh, this is like right in the middle of the bean cam now, is it? We might have to adjust his gooseneck um give him one of the he, his is a i've gotten this wrong before it's either a 270 or a 310 
I think it's a C310 Logitech, which is like my original, original webcam. Um, and, and the 920 would be an, an upgrade. So it's like, it's like a rotating, like, which is the priority? Like the nails are always getting like the, the best camera available. And then it's like, I guess my face and then being, or maybe that's the wrong priority. Do you guys need 60 FPS unmoving bean <laughs> and just leave my fucking face in 30 FPS? Like, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's closed tightly again. Okay, that's fine. I also don't know. So, like, I'm eating as soon as I'm done with my nails. Um, Dinner is, like, ready to eat downstairs. <laughs> I can smell it. It smells so good. Mm, it's another roaster pan evening so it's like just smells of like roast potatoes and sausage and fucking garlic and deliciousness like wafting in the air um I've looked at those doc the measurements I think I the measurements I saw on those were seven well 70 millimeters which is seven centimeters by four I'll have to look again I, I was looking at the Sennheisers. I mean, they're expensive too, though. Like those, um, the other ones that had really large cups in the review. Like I'm, I'm sitting here looking at headphones for large ears reviews, which I mean, what is that doing to my Google search history? <laughs> um, uh, AK, AKG, is that the right letters? And Audio Technica, um, both have some headphones with some pretty large um ear cups so i was looking at those the scent has it i i just don't know it's like why why can't there just be like a cheap decent like i don't want a piece of crap headphones but I also like I'm just not an audiophile enough to really I think appreciate like an actual good pair of headphones. This is still covered in gold glitter. <laughs> God, look at it's just picking up like each little individual. You guys, I'm really very pleased with this webcam. And that's that's after a very unpleasant trip to Target. You ever go to Target on a Monday? And they're like understocked and you're like, oh man, they must have had such a busy weekend. I went there today and today is Thursday and they did not have shit in stock. And I don't know why. And it made me angry. But then I came home and my webcam worked and now I'm happy. And perhaps my emotions should not be so dependent on outside factors, but I just can't seem to help it. Like if shit pisses me off, I can't just be like, oh, well. <laughs> and I mean, I can put myself in a place where it's like, well, you know, shit doesn't piss me off, but then shit kind of doesn't really make me happy either, you know? And I don't feel like that's very healthy. Dr. Crotron, what's the happy balance? Wait, bi-directional what? Oh, microphone? Is that when I was talking about cardioid? Yeah, the Tascam ear cups are too small. And I've complained about... It's kind of funny, you guys. I got those headphones in a bundle deal with my microphone. Those headphones crapped out on my one-year stream anniversary. When I cut the stream and took them off, they fucking fell apart. <laughs> that was kind of hilarious to me, and it still kind of is. Mm. <laughs> 6,000 FPS so that you can see the rise and fall in his soft gray fur. Just think about that, Bainey. <laughs> the pair you have costs like $50. Which model do you have, Dr. Crotron? The ones I were looking at were all like more than that, like 120 and up. And I mean, I'm aware that that's like not even that much money for headphones. Like if you're like headphones uh like there's some expensive headphones out there but like i said those are those are not for me mm. 
Oh my God, I hate the remodel. I hate the remodel. Our, uh, almost all of them around here now have been remodeled, son, and I hate the remodel. Like certain parts of it make sense. Like, okay, the women's shoes are next to the women's clothes and the kids' shoes are by the kids' clothes and the men's shoes are by the men's shoes. Instead of there being a shoe department, there's, you know, they're just in with the regular rest of the clothes. I mean, some some things like that kind of make sense, but having a display of shit in the middle of the intersection that I have to push my cart around to get through to get to where I actually want to go is not cool, Target. Somebody can clip that and email it to them. And you'll probably get a coupon, or maybe they'll send me a coupon. Because that's what happens when you complain. If you ever want coupons, just find some minor shit to complain about and send the brand an email and be like, I have some feedback and I'm very disappointed in you. You can get a coupon. A full range of emotion is a happy balance. So otherwise, you got to be salty every now and then to be happy the rest of the time. Maybe that's what you're saying. Not really, probably, but you know, ish. A full butt of emotion. That Yeah, that's probably equally important, but spot. <laughs> mm. Hey, clever. Luke, Luke has a tendency to do that. Luke has a tendency to do that. Congratulations on receiving a Santa Luke sub. Enjoy your emotes and look forward to more emotes as soon as I figure out what what other emotes you guys want. Um, I think it's kind of, well, I don't know if I can say consensus because I was only discussing it among like a handful of people, but I feel like I need some kind of a nail polish emote. I mean, the beanie emotes are adorable and Clark is adorable and I love my little cloth emote. And of course it makes sense to have like Hollow Knight emote, but I mean, this is a nail stream also. Can I get, oh, there, there's some of the red if I get like that. And then we get more into like the blurply blue. I can get some of it if I get like, where are we? Got to get used to all the different angles again all over now. I like this color though. Mm. Yeah, that is, that is usually the blanket that gets pulled over him snugly. But now it's, uh, you know, it's getting a little warmer. Pretty soon, probably the blankets will come off and he'll just have, like, the chair. Because, I mean, it was, okay, it was 82 here today. Anybody that thinks Minnesota is always an ice cube. It was really, really nice. Yeah, see, that's the thing. The ones that are, like, trying to be a super target, but they're not. Like, they keep increasing their grocery area but it's still not like a full grocery it's just like a less of a regular target I'm trying to trying to keep a balance between like reading chat and actually you know painting a nail every every five minutes or so <laughs> oh moon target is not too bad but it's not I think the thing with the problem with Target is you can f go in there and find some shit for cheap, but then all of a sudden you got a cart full of cheap shit and you and it's like seventy dollars. You don't know what happened. Gossip, I I really like it when they have like, and I know like it's partly a manipulation to get you to come into the store, but like they had a. Uh, if you spend forty dollars in pet supplies, you get like ten dollars off. Like, you know, this is shit I'm already going to buy. Like, Beanie needs cat litter and Clark needs food. And if you want to give me $10 off, that's actually great. Thanks. These, This is very messy tip wrapping. Do not, do not recommend. <laughs> oh my goodness. A nail polish bottle with a heart. That sounds adorable. Maybe I could make a little, maybe, maybe... We could make a little nail polish character. Like, like not like, like for more than, ooh. I mean, of course it would be purple nail polish. <laughs> or maybe it shouldn't be. Is it more obviously nail polish if it's pink? Do people still associate pink with nail polish? 
Yeah, <laughs> Minneapolis is a far ass way from Duluth. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, the home stuff oh my god yeah they will get you there and it is nice it's like yeah yeah no I know exactly what you're talking about moon it's like a little miniature Ikea up in there and the shit's all cute too the super bulky carts make you angry mm. they're they're sturdy for resilience and for packing large items into that's that's exactly see okay you guys' comments are in synergy because luke you need the big bulky carts in order to stuff them full of all them big ass home decor boxes <laughs> all your couches in a box and your bookcase that needs to be assembled and shit <laughs> mm. Or like me, I got my air conditioner at Target. You can't put that in a little old cart. But what they should do is like, I don't know if any of the grocery stores by you guys have these little like race car carts, I like to call them, because they're new and they're small. So their wheels, like since they're new, their wheels are all nice and there's no like <laughs> wheel fucking everything up. And since they're small, they have like this really tight turning radius. So it feels like you're driving this little race car cart. And instead of being like a full size cart, like the top part is kind of like the size of a hand basket. And then there's like a slightly larger part coming off the bottom. So it's like a two layer cart. Please, please somebody know what I'm talking about. I hope. (laughs) A tiny house. (laughs) Ooh, crystals. Crystals are so tempting, though. Could be a condo. See, Athlas knows. Athlas knows about the mini carts. This is, like, pretty good coverage. Like, was it the the greenish one? Um, Don't Kale My Vibe that was so kind of, like, worryingly sheer at the first coat. I mean, obviously, we're still going to do two coats, but. No, not the ones for kids with the pole. With what is the pole for? Is it like so they don't get lost? So you can see their little uh, shopper in training flag. Mm. No, Target should have the two tier carts. But the thing is, then you wouldn't have your magical $70 Target trip because you wouldn't have room on your little small cart. I think it like like the grocery store and stuff, it's like an upsell because if they didn't have the small carts, you might get a hand basket. So the carts are actually, they're less of a downgrade from the full size cart than an upgrade from the hand basket. Oh, the poles so you couldn't steal them. Oh, like so they don't fit out the door. That's funny. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, I can't. Oh, there we go. There's that pink coming through a little bit. This is great. The polish and motion for this, I hope. Tomorrow better be sunny. There's going to be some rain, I know, but there better be some sunny parts of the day because this video needs to happen this brush is actually not a super great brush it has like a couple bristles that are like sticking out can you see them you can because this this camera is just that good those little two maybe be easier on my hand will you focus okay let's do this again then see those little two let's uh let me see if i can grab them Come here. Oh. Probably if my tweezers were a little cleaner, it would be easier. Boy, they're very dirty. <laughs> um, did we just get a hello from Cheddar? 
Oh, there it is. So, like, brushes, like, if you don't know, like, it's a two-part thingy that's shoved up in there with a the little staple. So if you have a, a little one that's sticking out, if you just grab it, you can pull it out. And I find that, like, a lot easier than trying to trim it or something to match the rest of the brush. Like, just fucking get out of here and quit ruining my life. Mm. Tiberius. We just got Tiberius. Hello. Tiberius emote win. I, I gotta think some more on this nail polish bottle as a character. And, and what color nail polish would it be? I mean, purple seems obvious, but also predictable. But like, imagine, see if I, if I pursued this idea, I don't know if I would be capable of, of making it. Like, like you were talking about Luke and you were like, man, this is hard. It is hard. I don't know if I would be capable of making a crow awe out of a nail polish bottle. <laughs> I may have to put in a commission with Moon. There goes another one that you guys can't hear. <laughs> I'm going to still let you guys know, though, when the loud cars come by. Because I'm sure you're just all so curious. Okay, that was a little bit too much. We, we got some cuticle flooding here. Oh, no we don't. Everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> void heart charm nail polish bottle I could just it could yeah, mm. I kind of like that or different charms I could use the charm names as inspiration for nail polish names grub song obviously would be green I mean, one that I would really like, like Hollow Knight and nail polish coming together is like Shio somehow is like a nail artist. So like instead of his paintbrush, like he's got like a bottle of nail polish and or like a nail file or something. But that would be too much like detail for a like for an emote. Emotes have to stay like reasonable sized and clean in order to be the most readable. I mean, sometimes detailed ones also are cool, especially like once you already know what it is, like once you've like moused over and seen the larger, the larger version of the emote and you're like, oh, that's what it is. And then when you see the smoosh together small version, then you like already know what it actually looks like. I'm out of frame, aren't I? I probably was. <laughs> One in eight or nine. I mean, you're you're on top of it, son, because you expect it. Ooh, lifeblood. Lifeblood is such a pretty color. That just like bright, not quite turquoise blue. Now, I know if Dinah were here, she would have a shocking idea. And I think this actually would look really phenomenal with hollow on top of it. But because I am planning a polish and motion of it, I want to catch it in its uh, unenhanced, awesome state. I mean, you see all those colors in there. It's, it's going to be a good polish and motion, I hope. Weather better cooperate with me.
Wait, you it was actually rejected, Luke? I think I have Moon. Luke, no way. How did it not? I mean, I don't know. What did it look like in the small? I mean, I'm assuming the small is probably the one they had problems with. I guess that's why Moon always has that attention to detail for her customers. I mean, I've never done any particular resizing other than just like saving it in Photoshop at a different, you know, uh, height and width. Like, that's the extent of it. Like, I can't... It didn't seem like that complicated of an image, like, where the shrinking it would be like, oh, it's unrecognizable. Yeah, Moon will just make you a free Moon with a top hat emote on just so that people will fall in love with it and ask who made it and you can go oh it's a collab between me and moon bandit and then she'll just have the commissions just pouring in we want everything around the cuticle and of course the sides to be neat i did a pretty good job painting today though i think You know, you know, though, that's kind of ironic. That's a pretty fucking fast turnaround for a rejection. I wonder if it would have been so quick to be like approved because I had to wait a week for cloth and that was fairly recently. I've, I've had them approved fast, too, though. I'm just like, oh, I rejected it real fast, huh? Is that how it goes? I'm offended on your behalf, Luke. Whoa, that was some glitter. Don't get that glitter stuck in there. That that gold, some of the bar glitter from uh, Sachet My Way is still hanging around here. Mm-hmm. Mm Wait, so which is the 28 by 28? Is that the Twitch size or the FFZ size? Because they're not the same sizes, are they? Or FFZ resizes it for you. That's what it is. I don't even know what FFZ's native emote resolution is. Aw, Luke! There should be a cap on that, I'm pretty sure. I hope. We haven't rejected you, Luke. You are welcome here. Oh, also, Dr. Crotron! Shame on you for not posting in Discord last night. Because I missed your stream. And I felt sad and, and bad, too. You were probably thinking, oh, Colette doesn't care. No, Colette just is oblivious because she didn't pick up her phone for a couple hours. And, 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 and I didn't, and there was no, there was no Discord. And, and I did not know that there was a secret wiggly late night doc stream. In which you apparently completely kicked some rando's butt. You and Wesker both, I think. Is he the other one who did it? Both super kicked this week's rando's butt. I don't think I'll get a chance to do it this week. But I did the bingo. The rando bingo. So that was... That felt like an accomplishment. Oh no, get out of here, gold glitter. Look at that little... Oops, I'm off camera. Look at that little gold glitter. Look at... You guys can see this singular glitter. I'm just so happy about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do have the bell on. Dr. Crotron, you are one of like the super few people I have the bell on for. And I get notifications on my phone. But my phone is silent and I don't, I'm not like attached to my phone.
And I don't know when I when I when I stop streaming. I thought I was gonna. Usually I ask you if I think there's even a chance you're gonna stream. I'm like, Doctor Crowtron, are you about to stream? But I thought it was too late during a weeknight for you possibly to stream. And then later on, I'm like, what is this in Discord in the in in the in the rando channel? And I'm like, hey, this is this is a Doctor Crowtron thing. I'm like, and I thought to myself, but this is all before I saw the notice on my phone, like hours and hours and hours later. I thought to myself. Did he did he run this like while he was watching me? Cause you said you were practicing. Like, did he count a rando as practice? Like, what's going on here? And then I saw the that you were too wiggly to sleep and you had to do a stream notification on my phone. And I was like, oh. Cause I actually I finally downloaded the Discord desktop app. So I actually have been a lot better about Discord notifications. Because before, Discord was just lost in the sea of tabs that I have open. Like, I would usually have it up, but I didn't really notice it or pay attention. And now, like, I'm much more on top of it. But there was no Discord. Alexa tells you when I'm not, but not Dr. Crow or Luke or the <laughs> butt spot. Yeah, I mean, okay, so like when you when you initially follow somebody on Twitch, it actually automatically turns on notifications for you. When you're on somebody's channel, that's represented by the bell icon that's right next to the heart icon. And so if you don't want notifications, then you got to turn them off. And then the bell will be like a little slashed out bell. But I wonder if there like I know there's levels to notifications like do you want cell phone notifications or do you want email notifications in your I think in your user settings so I wonder I'm sorry you guys see I still have to adjust this a little bit because it's not like it's not lined up where I naturally hold my hand or I just need to become a little bit more aware of that um it might be in your user settings to like turn on or I wonder are there notifications can you can you change that per channel or is that like your whole account? I don't know, but maybe maybe something is hidden in there somewhere. Or maybe is she smart enough if you just ask her like can you say, "Hey Alexa, can you give me notifications from Dr. Crotron?" Oh my god, did she hear me? I'm sorry. <laughs> it just happens like a rainbow. Oh my god, I'm sorry if you heard I'm I'm sorry if you heard my stomach. Yeah, it was like shortly after I ended. It was like a little bit, like half an hour maybe. And I like literally don't even remember what I was doing during that time. I was probably like looking more at headphones or something. But I was just kind of hanging out with Dapper in the background. And looking at something. And then like later on. Later on I saw that I had missed out on Hollow Knight. And missed out on Doc. Two of my favorite things. Mm. I know I'm like on one level I'm like oh no and on the other level I'm like man this is how people feel when I forget to do shit because I have for sure forgotten to discord like more than once that's why I really try and stick with like routines it helps a ton to have like a starting stream routine and ending stream routine like I try to get twitter and discord immediately done like if I'm super organized like super organized doesn't happen very often I'll actually like write the messages out before I start stream so I'm not like sitting on stream dawdling about doing something else um and like at the end of stream I've also you know forgotten to cut stream a couple times <clears throat> But now I try to remember to, after I like sign off to you guys and rate us over to wherever to go back and sign off to my YouTube people. And then when I'm done with that, then I actually like stop the stream. Because of course, like when we're raiding over, it's like, oh, hi everybody. Ha ha, what's going on? Spam. Sometimes. And it's just surprisingly easy to forget to press that button. Okay, so that's how much cleanup this needed. I think we're pretty good now. Well, there's a little bit there. Mm. 
<laughs> Rosie is sleeping. Crotron's tried those bots before. Those bots are fake news. Like, they act weird. Especially, like, if you, like, cut stream and then go live again. You know, intentionally or not. They're weird. Okay. Looking pretty clean there. Trying to get a little bit of the red to... Oh, there's a little bit of the pink. Oh, we have zero focus, but you can see the color. Because down here, it just looks very, very blurple. There you can get a bit of the red. Here you actually can see, you know, a lot of the... It's interesting, because in the bottle, you get a lot of the blurple. And you can kind of see that that more different colors of the corners or when I when I hit it at some angles but the cleanup you really get a lot of the redder shades he's pretty sleep <laughs> that could very well be the answer son hey angel all right sesh feed of course I really, I mean, we're, we're having a couple problems with the focus, but I mean, really, I'd say nine out of 10 on, on focusing pretty well at, at various heights. Well, maybe eight out of 10. Okay. Nine out of 10. <laughs> oh, one of them actually you can't i th i thought you just were not happy with it and quit the one actually that's kind of an asshole move that really kind of sucks ooh ooh it looks so good like it just it's i i almost for a second forgot what seshvit does to these and what it does is it just makes them, it doesn't just make them glassy, like it makes them metallic. Like it doesn't just put a glossy layer on top, like it gets rid of any streaks that you have, any little weird things, and then you just like are left with this super amazing, like really beautiful, gorgeous awesome um all all the good words i've got a little dimple there that i do not like i hope it settles out because i'm sitting here like praising the virtues of ses Vite, and then i get like a little dimple <laughs> oh top coat There, let's just yeah that's fine that'll settle out a little bit yeah it is like a juicy blackberry oh so good so you guys I'm gonna take a, a dinner break once I finish my nails here should I should I stream Hollow Knight tonight? Or is there somebody else that's going to entertain me this evening? Or am I going to have to entertain myself? I, I see this like little bubble on my ring finger. I see, uh, see it right there? I, I really hope it settles out. I'm just going to leave it alone because I feel like messing with it could be could be a bad thing. Oh. Ooh, 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 there we go. Oh, yeah. 
the colors. Ah. Oh. Do Dr. Crotron, that is what I was thinking. Um, my thinking being that I want to do at least one a week. I haven't done one since last, last Thursday, last Wednesday, last Tuesday, sometime last week. I didn't do any over the weekend. Um, you know, I kind of had a chance to warm up a little bit last night. I've, I've got something weird going on there. I guess it's fine. Not sure if you can even see it. <laughs> I'm not a tease. I'm just like, like, I'm not sure. Cause like I said, I'm, I'm taking a little break for dinner. Like, I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not sure if people care. No, I know a few people care. I just wasn't sure if anybody else was like, like Doc, if you were planning a stream, or if Luke was planning a stream, or... Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. Man, I'm so tempted to slap just like one more layer of top coat on that ring finger. Like from my vantage right now, man, I kind of wish my camera wasn't mounted. Maybe I'll, I'll try to remember to take a picture before I'm done. The nail is split vertically. This side is fuchsia and this side is blurple. Oh, you guys are like, well, what? Um, so dang pretty. The camera. See, just that little, that little tiny imperfection there. Look, should I put another layer of top coat over that or should I just accept it? I think I'm just going to accept it. I'm just, I'm just going to accept it. Oh, like some, some debug stuff, some save state practicing of hard things. Luke's going to stream tomorrow. Oh, the tree people. The saga of Luke's trees. Maybe. <laughs> Luke, you could have a tree emote. Nobody would get it. <laughs> Except for us. Except for us initial top hat Luke followers. People would be like, Luke, why, why do you have a tree emote? And you'd be like, well, it's a long story. So successful manicure, successful, come on camera. It's this color. It just, it has trouble with this color. It's like, oh my God, the color is just too fucking good. Um, successful manicure, successful camera usage. Um, really very, very relieved that this, uh, is working out. I mean, and if, if you were not here earlier, like we, we've got so much zoom we just, we just got so much zoom. We just don't even know what to do with ourselves. Like if, if we really need to get that far into my business, but usually I think we'll need to be about like this far into my business. <laughs> I think this is good for most things. I would like to figure out how to adjust it just like a little bit, like over here would be more comfortable. I mean, I could, I could just move the whole rig up another couple inches and then like try to adjust Beanie's cam. I only have, I have a very short amount of uh, <laughs> slack on, on Beanie's camera though. Of course, he might be getting a different camera soon. So maybe that will require more adjustments. Actually, that does actually present one problem because where I wonder where I all need to look at that. The, the Beanie's camera right now is on like a, a flexible gooseneck thingy. 
which is also I have a second one that I use for when I'm playing the Nintendo because the two cameras take different ones. So if I switch Beanie to the 920, then he would take that gooseneck thingy and I would need another one for when I'm playing Nintendo or, you know, you guys would just be looking directly at the side of my face. That's minor though. Those things are pretty cheap. Um, one problem. What's the one problem? I, I definitely, I want to, like, everybody, I, I didn't think Tetris would be that interesting for people to watch. I didn't think Dr. Mario would be that boring either. Like, Dr. Mario felt way more boring than Tetris for some reason. I think it's because Dr. Mario is, like, hard at the beginning of the level and then gets easier, and Tetris just kind of keeps getting harder and harder and harder and harder, especially if you ain't got no long boys. Um... But I, ha I had a ton of fun with it, and I love Tetris, and I actually, you guys, I played off stream the other night, and I got it on a spaceship. It wasn't a new high score, but it was good. Um, so I want to do more of that, so that is a consideration. Um, Beanie's cam also, I mean, it does show a different personality. There's a lot of the red coming through, and I'm not sure how much of this is actually the cam and how much of it is just the positioning of the cam. Like, you know here we're directly into the ring light and here we're at like a different little more angle of light and also compared to like up here ooh ooh can you see that dark not dark we're getting the lamp on top of my desk can I get a little closer it's magical you guys I'm getting like the light from under is from the ring light and the light from on top is the lamp on top of my desk and it's just doing like all kinds of cool things. I think this is just always going to be um, a side effect of using the ring light is that certain things are, are more of a challenge to show. But the color accuracy of this overall I'm very pleased with. Anybody wasn't here, I'm going to bring them out one more time. These were the the decals that just made me very, very disappointed with one of my previous webcams. Um, what, what? Mute this and it's hilarious. <clears throat> yeah, I know it's, it's a, the one place I would say it's dangerous. I mean, if you have no sense in your head and I try to at least have some sense in your head is when you're driving and then it's like, oh yeah. Hmm. But just, you know, restrict that to stoplights. Um, Slow mo bye bye. Oh, this. <laughs> bye bye. Or we could do a uh, Beyonce. <laughs> okay, so um, as I said, I'm gonna take a short break. Um, I don't think it should be more than an hour. Probably not even that much. Uh, cause like I said, dinner is literally waiting for me downstairs, but I feel like it would be kind of silly to leave you guys on BRB for like that long. So let's see if I can find somewhere for you guys to be amused for a little while and I'm gonna go eat some potatoes and some sausages and some carrots and some garlic. Oh my God. There's garlic roasted together to a savory lovely tasty thing um 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 hmm? <laughs> I'll enjoy my dinner very much Luke I don't know why I love messing with Luke so much. Probably because he's up for it. Praise is makering. I like Raiden over to Praise because she's a she works on a variety of shit and it's like pretty much all cool shit. So plus like this kind of like foily stuff kind of reminds me of reminds me of nail art. So yeah, I think that is a good plan. Plus, I think you guys enjoy her. I hope so. I mean, that's that's like a huge part of the raid. I mean, there's like, I want you guys to enjoy something. Maybe introduce you guys to someone new. Or maybe just like throw the love to somebody that I already know we all already love. So. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, kind of moon. Yeah, this dinner must be moon approved, except for the sausage parts. That sounds. <laughs> um, but yeah, moon, moon, moon feels about fries the way I feel about nachos, you guys. Dinner is a roaster pan, so just like stick it in the oven with sausages and potatoes and carrots and garlic and, you know, like, I don't know, might be a couple other veggies on there. Just like all roasted into deliciousness. So, ooh, microphone is in the way. Yeah. Beanie's cam just has like a minefield of shit to peer through to get to Beanie. Um... I, I, I can't disagree with you, Moon. I was saying, like, aside from the sausages, like, the potatoes could kind of count as fries. Um, I appreciate you guys so much hanging out, hanging out, looking at my nails, and uh, admiring, mostly admiring the new camera. <laughs> um, like I said, I'll be back in probably an hour or less, and we'll play some 106%. Oh my god, it's already 7.30. I'm, I'm gonna go for it. We're gonna, I'm gonna... I'm going to say definitely an hour or less because, like, we don't want to be streaming till 4 a.m. Um, yeah, I'm I'm down for vinegar on fries, too. It's weird, but it, I can be, like, just a little bit, not too much. No, not too fast. I, I'd be tempted to eat on stream, except I'm speed running, and that's not compatible with speed running, and let's close such feet before we spill it, and it dries up. So, anyway, I'm going to push the raid now button. Thank you guys so much. I hope I'll see you later. But if not, I hope you have a wonderful... I don't know what this motion was. A uh, wonderful evening, afternoon, morning, whatever it is, wherever you are. And... Yeah, bye. And also, to you guys on YouTube, I hope you guys enjoyed this little nail polish and chill. Kind of funner to paint my nails with my community than all by myself. This camera's got a few little quirks, but I think as I learn it, it'll work out very well. The color accuracy is the huge mainest part, so I hope you guys appreciate that as well. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>